just wanted to let you know that you are amazing, special and capable of anything. Thank you for watching this video and taking a positive step for your learning. The area of the circle is pi times r squared. Now for those who need a little bit of a recap, pi is a special ratio that help relates that helps relate the circumference of a circle to its diameter. Um, diameter is the distance from one end of a circle through the middle. So I'll draw these things as we go along. So this is your oh actually my face is blocking it. <laughs> um, let me erase that. My bad, I'm sorry. Um, so diameter, I'll show you diameter just as a little tidbit here, D for diameter. But today we are focusing from the distance from the middle to the edge, which is the radius, which is R. So R here stands for the radius. And don't forget if you don't have a pi button handy in your calculator or anything like that, you can just use 3.14. All right, so let's try some questions and see how we go. All right, the first one we're going to look at is a full circle. And the area of a circle is pi times r squared. All right, pi, 3.14. And the radius is 4. Can you see over here? This is your radius. So it's going to be 3.14 times 4 squared. Um, 4 squared is 16. 4 times 4. So we need, we need to find out 3.14 times 16. So I'm going to compute over here. <laughs> Calculate, I should say. Um, and that's going to be 50.24. We don't have a unit, so we'll just keep it plain for now. But we'll change that for the next ones. All right, we've got a semicircle, which is half of a circle. So we'll find the area, which is pi times r squared, but we want half of this. So we're going to put half times pi times squared because we're getting half the area of the circle. Half times 3.14 times 9. Um, let's put that super quick on my calculator. You'll be using your calculator for these types of questions. 14.3 and units please, meters squared. Boom. <laughs> let's try this quarter. Um, so last time for the half we halved the area of the circle. So surprise surprise we are going to do a quarter of the area of the circle. The radius is 2, so this is a quarter times 3.14 times 2 squared. And let me get your answer for you. Um, feel free to calculate at home as well. 3.14. That's pretty cool, isn't it? It landed up being pi. Done with our units, so let's look at some other questions. So you can give these a try, so pause here, and then come back. All right, hopefully you were able to give these a try. I'm going to start with the first big circle here. Area is pi r squared, 3.14 times, and the radius is 2, so 2 squared. Let's see what we land up with. 3.14 times 2 squared equals 12.56 centimeters. Hope you got that. Let's focus on the next one, which is the quarter. Let's go for the quarter. Area equals pi times r squared. But we want a quarter of this. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, once again, I realized my face is... Kind of blocking the way. Maybe if I, oh, if I like my face in the corner. Better keep remembering that, otherwise I'm gonna forget. Sorry, <laughs> kind of new to this. This is one of my first videos. So we're gonna do a quarter times pi times the radius squared, and the radius is three. 
Remember pi is equal to 3.14. Zero. I'm going to just compute, calculate for you. Boom, that's um, 7.065 meters squared. Um, so hopefully you're going good with these so far. The last one's a little bit tricky because you can see there's a five going across. This is our diameter, not our radius. So first of all, to get to the radius, we need to do five divided by two, split it in half, 2.5. All right, now let's get into action area equals pi r squared. Um, but this is half a circle. Let's keep that in mind. Half times pi times 2.5 squared. Do you think it'll let me scroll down just a little? Hopefully. There we go. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Let's put this on the calculator. And it lands up being 9.8125 kilometers squared. Remember, all areas have a little, little two for the square. And if you need to do this in one decimal place, the next number after the one, the next number after the eight is one. So you just keep it at 9.8. This is 1DP. Um, so hopefully now you're feeling a little bit more confident with how to find the areas of circles, um, quarters and halves.